Bradley at the time 0-5 in the league and went on a huge run all the way through Arch Madness to win it as a number five seed. The saving grace for the Chippewas has been Molly Davis and her ability, especially in transition, to get to the paint. Jones attacking off the dribble, going right out, embracing the contact to Daryl Brown. And then how about the little spin move? That was like from the old Allen Iverson commercials back in the late 90s. Absolute textbook. If you're Jahari Smith, you have to do the bulk of your work on that post defense before the catch because Hempfling uses her body so well to create space. Well, Dr. Outside hitter Lindsay Pleipel, she needs to continue to take big swings. The USF transfer hits a heavy ball. She loves the deep corner and she can hit line. You said you got to be intentional. What do you mean? You have to come in with a purpose. You have to know who you're guarding, know the scouting report on them on the defensive end, and then offensively, you have to make yourself a factor. You didn't have to do all the stim and the stretch work and all that stuff, but good luck bouncing back, especially with the back-to-backs back, back to backs now, if uh, you think you can just roll it out at this level. No, I mean, the, the Theragun becomes your best friend on these back-to-backs. That and ice baths. You got one of those? I do, and it might be one of the greatest inventions ever. This is where it's going to be especially important, that transition defense. Because UCF has switched to a man-to-man -man defense, you have to find your player in transition. Into the block cricket. He'll spin into traffic and get fouled. You were asking about the adjustments Southern's made. Two things. They're making Cricky catch further away from the basket, and the Southern defense is doing more early work on Cricky before the catch. The senior knows how to create her own shots because she's crafty. She can swing for power. She can go off speed. Her ability to go six rotations this year has really opened things up for this Redbird offense. But Kayla Kelly was there. She Kelly needs to make her presence felt. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Kelly has to be more aggressive off the dribble. Great change of speed. Knows the contact is coming and able to split the white jerseys of Bowling Green. That's the thing about the Drake defense and their blocking scheme is you're not necessarily going to be able to go around the block of the Bulldogs, so you have to go through it, and that's why tooling is so important in this match. Clark doesn't just take the contact. She embraces the contact, and she does such a great job there. Zero and green squaring her body up to the rim. Part of the issue right now that Missouri State is really forcing is the Bears are dictating the tempo in this game. They want to play fast, and this SIU squad wants to play half-court basketball. And right now it's Missouri State winning that tempo battle. Quick outlet by Hempfling the other way to Elissa Brett. And watch this body control. Able to avoid the charge, go around the defender and off glass.